In this video, we are going over how to protect a water service line with tracer wire, covering what to use and how to install it. Section 604.8 of the Uniform Plumbing Code has required the use of blue insulated copper tracer wire since 2009 so that a utility company can use a wire tracer to detect where a non-metallic water service line is located. I want to draw your attention to the color specified. Blue. Tracer wire colors mean something. For instance, blue is for a potable water line, green is for a sewer line, and yellow is for a gas line. There are others, but you get the idea. The 2021 UPC also states the wire used should be no smaller than 14 AWG. This is a requirement that may differ based on the approved code or amendments to the uniform or international plumbing code in your location. It may be a higher or lower gauge. Check with your plumbing authority so you don't run into issues later. What you see here was based on the 2015 UPC when it stated 18 AWG. Code also says the insulation jacket should be suitable for direct burial. Tracer wire has a polyethylene coating around the nylon jacket, providing resistance to water, meaning when you bury it, the wire will not deteriorate due to the elements and it is more durable. Don't use THHN. While it might be tempting because THHN is cheaper, heat resistant, and has a lovely assortment of colors similar to tracer wire, and it's readily available at a big box store, THHN doesn't have the polyethylene outer layer to keep it from deteriorating at an accelerated pace when it is buried. The service life of a buried water line is 30 plus years, hopefully more. The service life of a buried THHN is years, but not 30 because it's not designed to be in a wet environment. So if you use THHN as tracer wire, when you start having leaks in the main line, don't count on the THHN to still be in good working order. Some big box stores only sell 14 gauge yellow gas tracer wire, and that's only available online, so you'll have to plan ahead and buy blue tracer wire online or buy it at your local plumbing supply. Moving on, after hitting the like button to help YouTube spread the good word on why tracer wire rocks, how do we install this blue tracer wire? In our case, we are protecting our new water service line from the water meter to the house because we used PEX in between our city's requirement for three foot copper whips on either end. After leaving the line exposed for a day to make sure we didn't see any leaks forming, we taped a tracer wire along the entire length of the water main, which included taping it to the top of the protective PVC sleeve. Here's a pro tip, which we found out after the fact. Tape it alongside the pipe at a three o'clock location so that when the line is being dug up, the tracer wire won't get damaged. You could also put it at six o'clock. Other people recommend laying it alongside the line. The main point is to put it in a place that's less likely to have contact with a shovel that's digging for the line. In any case, ours is a huge improvement from what was there before, which was nothing, but there's definitely room for improvement, which you can apply to your project. Lastly, make sure both ends are accessible, as you see in the meter box, or the end above the ground, as you see on the water riser here. Here's one last caution. If you end up looking at your city's website, you may only see the requirement for tracer wire on water lines that are two inches and larger if they only have a link to the international plumbing code. But you may want to verify before foregoing tracer wire. Backing up from the code requirement and looking at this from a strictly logical standpoint, it just makes sense to have some indication where a line runs out of sight and out of mind. Because when it is out of sight and in mind, as in there's a problem you can't ignore, at least you have a means to find the line. In addition, we also put detectable tape at 12 inches below grade at the city inspector's request. From our standpoint, we're doing this DIY, and while it's clearly a lot of effort, spending that extra money for these two safety backups is peace of mind, and the next owner or plumber is going to be ecstatic or blissfully unaware until they find out. 
you can check out the rest of the videos in this water service line replacement series, and there is more coming out soon on how we protected the PEX and copper before we buried it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next Friday.